Good morning, ladies and gents. Palm Springs, Cindy. I'm in my bathroom, and I'm inviting you to join me to get ready with me. I have my face is cleansed. It's all prepared to put my makeup on. I had a lot of you guys compliment me that you liked my lighter makeup. So thank you for noticing. <laughs> thank you for noticing because I did put on lighter makeup, and I'm going to do the same thing today. This is going to be chatty because I have just some fun things to talk about. So I'm gonna start with this primer, this illuminating primer, and uh, before I put my foundation on, just a little bit. Um, so I went, um, well, first of all, have I told you that my credit cards, both of them have been uh, vandalized again? I don't get it, so I have to go today to the credit union and get that taken care of and figure out what's going on. So, that's not good. Then, um, I had I went to, I had my final birthday celebration at Glen Ivy Spa, it was a spa day, and I went with my sister, my daughter, and then after that we went to, um, my sister's house, and then the next day we spent the night, and the next day we went over to my mom's and sat with her and had a nice visit. So that was like, it was just a special time. This is my foundation that I'm using. So that, that was good. And I have pictures of Glen Ivy Spa really nice. You guys are going to love it. You're going to, you're going to know why I wanted to go there for a spa day. Hey, you guys, I am here at Glen Ivy. I'm standing right in front of the sun, so it's hard to keep my eyes open, but I want to take some pictures of this glorious area for you, where we are today for a sort of a spa day. And with my sister and my daughter. We just got out of the pool. We just ordered lunch. And so please come with me while we celebrate these beautiful grounds. Weekend, 
which most people that are working need to go on a weekend, you have to put, you have to pay for some type of a service. I'm going to put this, it's called Erase. Um, I got it on Amazon. The oh, Let's see if I can see what this says. Um, it says, just has a number. So it's really rubbed off, you guys, but you can see what the package looks like. So if you go on a um, on a weekend, you have to have it, something, you have to buy a package. So we bought facials. You guys, I've, I almost wanted to fall asleep. Well, I, I think I did fall asleep. <laughs> the gal that did my facial was so awesome. I need to tell you, it was so luxurious. So just, it was just a luxury. It's a 55 minute uh, uh, facial. When it came time for our facials, we walked up to this beautiful building. That was the room that I had my face, my facial in. You lay down on that bed. She turns the light on. She, there's beautiful music playing, and she begins to put all of her lotions and potions on you. This is the steam machine. It's like an arm that lets out warm steam to cover your face and loosen everything up on your skin. And actually, while that is on you, she leaves the room, and that's there for about 10 minutes. This is the rest or part of the building where we had our facials. They sell all kinds of cosmetic and face care. You can see some nail polish and other things. It's really a beautiful building. It was just lovely and really a luxury. You know, it's worth it just to get a great skincare regime, get your skin really clean, deep down cleaned, and then filled back with lots of uh, nourishment. I really should have done, oh, you know what? I meant to do my eyes first. I mean, yeah, I meant to do my eyes first. What am I thinking? Because that's what I've been doing lately. Oh, well, I can do it tomorrow. Eyes first tomorrow. The weather here is so beautiful. It's it's like parrot. Well, it is paradise. I'm going to tell you it's paradise. So I'm hoping I've got to go to the um, credit union get that taken care of. Then, since I'm having Thanksgiving at my house, there's going to be about 20 people. So I've been planning in my head how it's going to work. And I need, I'm using this Estee Lauder bronzer. You know, this is just, uh, like I said, me getting my makeup on. You guys are invited to join me. Not a makeup artist. Um, so because I'm, you know, newly divorced, my husband always did. He loves, to, he was a cook in the Navy. So he was a good cook. And then the deal was he would cook, I would clean, which is fine with me. Because, you know, I hate to cook. <laughs> but... I have a, um, so anyway, this year I have to cook a turkey. So I'm cooking the turkey and the mashed potatoes. So today I, well, today I'm hoping to get, I have to get some pots and pans. I have two pans, a big soup pan, a fry pan, and then I do have a nice Dutch oven, but it's not going to be big enough. I don't think for potatoes for 20 people, but maybe it will. I could be thinking, but I think we did lose, use them. The last time we cooked because we always used to have Thanksgiving at our house now that I'm settled in my new house I want to have Thanksgiving and um, so I'm excited okay that was a little bronzer now whoa, 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 I'm going to do my eye makeup which I should have done earlier and I'm gonna do it lightly but before I start I'm actually gonna put some powder on my upper on my lids, just some loose powder. You know, I told you I'm in, I'm hooked on that Nicole, N I K O L, I think it is. 
And I just think she's so pretty and um, classic, classy and classic. So she, and she does a lot of uh, uh, makeup looks on mature women. Okay, I'm gonna do a light color. Let's see here. I'm gonna do like this. And I'm gonna start in the middle, like uh, Nicole said. If I don't do this right, I'm gonna e I'm gonna erase it and do it over. Do the other eye. Start here. And blend. Blend to the left, blend to the right. Start here. And blend. And then you guys, my goal is, I still want to go to like Macy's or Saks Fifth Avenue and I need, I'm going to get new makeup and I'll have a makeup person do my makeup for me. But I can't do it right now. I want to use up some of my makeup. How does that look? I always get kind of a thing right there. Okay, you guys cannot say that's too dark because it's not. Now I'm going to do my brows. Okay, I've got this little thingy woo. So the, um, okay, so the, the spa day was really nice. Weather was 83. And um, then you guys have to ask you something. The other day, I ordered a hamburger from my clubhouse for dinner. They have the best, it's like a really, it's called the, I don't know what it's called, but it's like their good hamburger. <laughs> so I ordered a hamburger and french fries, of course. And so they said, okay, come, come on up. They used, I think they used to deliver. I may have shared this with you. I think they used to deliver, but they don't anymore. You have to drive up and get it. And they used to, there was an extra few parking places where you could park and it was delivery, and then the people would come out, hand you your meal, and you drive off. Well, now they don't even do that. You have to go inside the restaurant. So in other words, if I'm not dressed, I have to get dressed, I, and then go inside the restaurant to pick up my hamburger. Okay, fine. So the other day I did that, and I walked in, and the gal said, oh, oh, hi, here, you know, come sign for your hamburger. Remember, I don't have a credit card that's working, so I signed it on my account my club account, and then um, she said, oh, and we add, we already added the tip. And I was like, it just didn't sit well with me. And I thought, a t you know, this is like a nanosecond, a tip. Why would they need a tip? Uh, there's no service required. Uh, you know, I'm coming in, I'm signing, she's handing me a bag. No dishes, no whatever. And I said, oh, you know what, why, why would you add a tip? And plus she added the tip. They added a substantial 20% tip. And she said, oh, it, you know, it was on the, when you, uh, when you ordered it, it like it comes automatic or something like that. And I said, oh, you know what? I prefer not to tip. And she like looked at me and I said, because there's, there was no service provided. If you had even come out to the car and handed it to me, that would have been really nice. But you guys stopped doing that. So, um, so I said, yeah, I, I would prefer not to tip. And so she says, oh, okay, well, then cross that out. And I did. So is that like crazy? I feel like every every which way you turn, they're you know, people are trying to get that extra extra money from you. And it's I don't I don't mean to be stingy, and trust me, I'm not, but it, it irks me like when you're at 
you know, every place you go, would you like to donate a dollar for the blah, blah, blah? Would you like to donate this for the blah, blah, blah? Would you like to round up for the da, da, D? And it's like, you know, okay, I'll, you, know, sh you know, sure, I'm at this grocery store. But then if I go to Lowe's and then if I go to Bath & Beyond, it's like the same old thing, not to mention the people standing out in front of the store. So it's, I'm kind of getting like enough already. Is anybody else kind of feeling that way? Okay, I already feel totally naked, but I'm going to carry on. Now, I don't have a good, well, let me check this, see if this brown pencil is any good. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, this brown pencil really is not, see, I did my, I'm going to use my black for now until I get a good brown. This would really be okay for my brows but I already had something for my brows. So I'm gonna just use my old stuff, but I promise I'll get a, like a, um, I went on Nicole's website to buy a couple things. Her, her mocha brown or chocolate brown liquid eyeliner, not liquid, but uh, cream or something. But it was really, her stuff is really expensive. So I thought maybe I could get it cheap, less expensive somewhere else. I'm gonna look. And in the meantime, just try to use what I have. Use that up. Okay, because even this Stila is getting dry. Hold on. It's getting dry. And basically, uh, Nicole said, just keep it really close to your eyelashes, which I had trouble even doing that. Alrighty, that's that's all I'm gonna put. And I'm going to do um, a little bit of blush. A little bit of blush. There's no, just what you see is what you get. Okay. And I'm having uh, lunch with Brooke, not lunch, I'm having dinner with Brooke Thursday night. She said she's treating. Why? So we're going to talk. We're going to have have dinner together at the clubhouse. I signed up for pickleball, and tonight at six o'clock, I will go, and they're going to do an orientation. I don't know if I can play because of my leg, but I'm going to try. Okay, that's all the blush I'm doing, and uh, I'm also going to do this. But I'm going to use brown. I'm going to use a light brown for my waterline. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let's see if I can do it like this. Okay, a little more definition. All right, so I'm going to do. I'm going to keep it because I'm keeping my makeup lighter. After I do finish my makeup, I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to get dressed, and then I'm going to show you the outfit of the day. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> All right, I need, now remember, I learned from Nicole, when you do your mascara, my eyelash curler is in my makeup bag in my purse. So start at the base. And this is why I was supposed to do my eyes first. So if there's any fallout, it's easy to wipe up. 
I think I just coopered. I'll clean that up. Ooh, 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 ah. But now I do want to put some lipstick on and to prove to you that I'm trying to go lighter. Lots of you guys ask me what lipstick I use and it's always pretty much, I layer my lipsticks, but this is pretty much the base of it. So here we go. And I like this little applicator. Mm -hmm. Now, Nicole recommends that mature women use a creamy lipstick and more of a creamy, illuminating face, uh, face makeup foundation because uh, she says like our skin, as you age, our skin can get drier and that if you use a matte foundation, then, um, you know, it makes it even more dry. I'm going to start to press this in with my wet or my damp cloth. And I'm going to do my hair and I'm going to get dressed and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's the outfit of the day. Um, I am on my way to the credit union and then I'm hoping to go by uh, Lowe's. I need an ice chest and I'm looking for some TV trays. I may go to Angel View or one of those um, charitable type stores that people turn in things and then they resell them to look for a couple things. I'm looking for uh, an electrical knife and uh, you know those electric knives not electrical <laughs> I'm looking for a, an electric knife and um, a, a big pot and the uh, gardener just started next door so you can hear that the buzzing thing all right so that's it Shelby is content I cooked some chicken tenders for her this morning uh, you know, just those plain frozen ones. And so she's a happy girl. So this is Cindy signing off. P.S. I love you. Mwah. Until our next conversation.